The environment within which our youths are growing has changed dramatically in the last few decades. There's the internet, social media, smartphones, and the ever-increasing need for instant gratification. Education, on the other hand, has been sorely lacking in keeping up with these changes. Youth movement Who Dares Wins is looking to bridge that gap, and they're doing it in an incredible way. Here to tell us all about it are the founders of Who Dares Wins, Asaf Gazit and Itamar Faraj. Thank you both very much for coming Thank in. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. right. All right, so uh, you know, let's just start us off with what is Who Dares Wins? How does it work? What do you do? Take it yeah. away. So first of all, uh, you, like you said, the uh, environment changed dramatically. And we believe that the education the kid needs is to be a better person, uh, to teach them values and tools for life, not only math, not only uh, literature, mm. but how to be a better person, how to be a better uh, son or a father or a worker or a boss. So the way we do it, in uh, Who Dares Wins is um, we do uh, education through uh, sports and fitness trainings. Okay. So it's not only fitness training like you uh, know in the gym or CrossFit. We invented a new method we call uh, Lion's Fit. That basically what it means, Lion's Fit, it's that behind every exercise you do, there's an opportunity to learn something, some value, some uh, educational thing you can teach others and to be a better person in life, to experience, first of all, the value and then to uh, pass it on. Is it, are these solutions, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. the solutions to the problems in, in the sports and the games that you've kind of created uh, in the Lions games, are they, are they like creative solutions or is there like, there is a right answer or there is a wrong answer? It's more like, no, think creatively yeah. and come up with your own answer. There's which... never a, a wrong answer and mm -hmm. there's a lot of right answers. Okay, so mm -hmm. there's a lot of methods you can uh, go through in life uh, and as well as in sports or everything you do. So this is what we teach the kids. Uh, it's their, you know, um, sure. own responsibility. So uh, Itamar, you know, I, how, how did you guys come up with this? You know, where, where, how did you go about creating Who Dares First? Is the brain after uh, all, uh, <laughs> all this uh, organization. We are friends from the army. Uh, mm -hmm. We meet uh, together in a course of uh, officer. It's called Bad Echad. Okay. And uh, we met on the podium after a race running. He was the first, uh, uh, first in the race. I was the tattoo and become friends. Ah. After the army, we, we want to make something to, to the children that we get in the army. In a one uh, half and a year course, we make a very good improve because become from child to adult, adult. person. Yeah. Yes. So okay, so we're working on maturation and on, on maturing kind of children were working on critical thinking skills and you know obviously they're getting exercise yeah. and getting out in the open and things like that which are all amazing you know so what's what's the response been like from people who have come and participated uh, not only from the kids but as well as the from the parents it's amazing the influence it has on children it's like uh, more than we expected uh, improving grades uh, at least 20 points in average wow. improvement in social skills and improvement of uh, decreasing of um, yeah, fatigue, not fatigue, I'm sorry, uh, yeah. obesity. Sure. Okay. Uh, and, you know, uh, healthy lifestyles increasing. Uh -huh. So these are only a few of uh, the... And the children have a lot of fun all the yeah. time. They want to That's come all the sure. time, three, four, five times in the week. They come to uh, uh, three, month, three times in a year. They come uh -huh. to sleep in, in, the, in the field. In the yeah. field, th three days. That's so much fun. So, okay, you know, who is this for? What age groups? Uh, is it just for Israelis? Uh, you know, what's, what's the plan? What comes next? It's for uh, 13 at, until 18, and okay. we want to make it before uh, 13. And, and so you want to extend yes. to the younger groups mm -hmm. too? To the younger groups. And then, and, you know, how often do you run a program? Is, is it like a set course that it starts here and it ends on this day, or can anybody come no, at, at any uh, day? It's a two times a week, two, times uh, a week. two, two, two gatherings uh, per week. And it's, uh, you can, you through, can go through the, through the whole year? Through the whole year, yeah, 12 months. And you can uh, join in the middle of the year, but you need adaptations, uh, physically and emotionally, you sure. need adaptations. But you can join uh, teams that are running a year or so. And for your question, we want to expand uh, mm -hmm. abroad for USA or Europe and sure. so on. It's a new educational method that we want to you know, well, show the world. <laughs> well, they need it, you know, coming yeah. from the States, I know that they keep cutting, you know, they cut anything outside of the core classes, they're yeah. cutting gym, things like that. So uh, this is a great addition and I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah.